Hello, Jesse Good here, and today I'm counting down what I think are my top 10 favorite LEGO Big Figs. There are many different types of Big Figs, from the Hulk to Darkseid to the bigger Power Miners Rock Monsters. Big brick-built figures like Groot, Clayface, and Giant Man won't count for this, nor will those TMNT figures with normal minifigure legs but bigger upper bodies. There's a few I don't own that would probably made the list if I did own them, but this list only includes Big Figs I own. Either way, all music tracks will be listed in the bottom right hand corner as they play, and without further ado, let's get into this. Starting off my list is the first big fig ever released, the Rock Raiders monster who appeared in a few sets in 1999. It is definitely the hardest to use of the bunch. His leg positioning takes up a bunch of studs. The figure is just one piece and there's no printing on it whatsoever, but this minifigure paved the way for every other on this list, and for that I have a soft spot for it, as ugly as it is. Next up is Thanos from the 2016 Avenget set. This big fig is our first taste of the iconic Marvel villain, and I think they did a darn good job. I love the Pearl Gold molding on him, which Pearl Gold was something I hadn't seen on big figs until then. Either way, I definitely wish he would have an Infinity Glove printed on his hands, but maybe we'll see that within the Avengers Affinity Wars sets. Eighth on my list is the first licensed big fig released, the Wampa, who first appeared in the Hoth Wampa Cave set from 2010. Either way, this one really paved the way for future licenses to get their own big figs. I love the molded fur, it's a nice detail that really gives the character more flavor. I also adore his size. Even though the Wampa is one of the smallest entries on the list, it is still accurate to his appearance in the film, and really makes him a great display piece as he easily fits in a LEGO Star Wars minifigure lineup. Next on the list are Geolix and Tremor Rocks, the two 2009 big fig rock monsters from LEGO Power Miners. Since both use the same body mold, I stuck them together. I'm a sucker for translucent pieces, so I love how Geolix has cases of dual molding on his body with trans lime legs and teeth, as well as a trans red on Tremor Rocks. Both have the very neat feature of a lever on the back that moves their right arm, giving them the ability to throw rocks. Speaking of non-licensed big figs, next is Dogshank from Tiger Widow Island, a Ninjago 2016 set. It always excites me when LEGO puts big figs in their own themes. Dogshank was a surprise that really came out of nowhere. Heck, she's the only female big fig here. I love the color variation here. Many people know that I adore colorful and cartoony stuff in LEGO. Dogshank has this creepy blue face, this nice orange armor, and neat green headgear. Hopefully we'll see more big figs throughout non-licensed themes. Fifth on my list is my latest big fig, Maui from the 2017 set Moana's Ocean Voyage. This is sort of our first human big fig, even though apparently Maui is more of a cultural hero in Polynesian mythology. I love the decision to make him a big fig. I mean, he's a hulking dude compared to Moana based on what I've seen from the movie, so making him a big fig makes sense. The tattoo printing and hair molding is on an incredible level of detail. Maui is so high on my list because I appreciate the LEGO Group's decision to try something new by making a human big fig, and they succeeded in that aspect. Fourth on my list is the 2015 Hulk big fig, which is much different than the 2012 one. This version appeared in two sets. The appeal of this one over to last is it's much more accurate to the film counterpart than the 2012 version was. Now he has spiky hair, and the olive green is a lot more close to the film than the bright green. A 2013 Rancor from Star Wars is probably the biggest big fig on this list, and also one of the most animated ones. Like many of the other figures, his hands and arms can be moved and rotated, but the coolest and most unique part is that his two middle claws can be moved up and down independently. Also, I love how his jaw can be opened and closed, another feature unique to him. Because of this size, one problem is he tends to topple over easily. Either way, the detail and articulation puts the Rancor at the third spot on my list. Coming in at number 2 is the ultimate rock monster, the Molten Lava Monster Eruptor, who appeared in one 2010 Power Miner set, Lavatraz. Eruptor is definitely the most menacing looking big fig on the list, so basically take what I like about the 2009 rock monsters, the crystal and rock mesh design, but make it translucent orange and add that nice black contrast and this guy is fire, literally. I like those fire attachments because it makes this dude have that spookiness that Ghost Rider has. Of course, much like the 2009 Rock Monster, he also has that neat throwing ability with a switch from the back. Of course, number one on this list is the original Hulk Big Fig from 2012, who first appeared in the Hulk Helicarrier Escape set. 
What gives this guy the upper leg over the updated one? Well, nothing actually. I think it is a worse figure, not saying it's bad at all, but in my opinion it's inferior to the 2015 one. However, I like it so much more. It's less serious and more playful and cartoony than the latter version. To me, it looks more like a LEGO minifigure who has turned into the Hulk. Maybe it's a lack of detail or something. Of course, there are alternate versions to this one. There's the Hulk from the 2014 Avengers Assemble set, who has purple pants, a nice tribute to the most recognizable comic version, as well as the 2017 one, who has a more comic accurate lime green skin tone and green hair. That one looks like the best in my opinion, which sucks because I really don't want to get that set at all. Either way, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this shorter list, and I hope my fellow Americans have a nice Thanksgiving. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.